Hi and welcome to what I did this week as a stage manager for Fen. This week I started to attend rehearsals for Fen. This meant I could complete the rehearsal blocking that I was required to and furthermore I could film sections and share them with the rest of my production team so they could see what's happening and how the director has blocked certain scenes. This is really important as lighting can look at the videos and make sure that they are light in the correct areas of the stage that the blocking is in and they can make sure that they have fixtures that can cover the specific areas, especially now as they're redoing their rig plan. For example, making sure that they have fixtures to like to below the stage of the entrance of the orchestra pit, as this is major scenes happen down there. Attending the rehearsals overall was successful as I was able to see what they'd already blocked and some of the transitions. When I was attending rehearsals, it came to my attention that they had added a lot of props into the production and now that I was there, I could see what I needed to add and what I could speak to the director about, about what had already been added. When attending rehearsals, I was made sure that I maintained social distancing with the year 13s as we would have mixed bubbles. I also always wore a face shield to make sure that I was safe. We started off the week by having a meeting with our production manager. This was where he informed us that there had been a change of plans. Due to the scheduling and not having enough time to run all three full-scale productions in 12 days, a decision was made to change the venue of all the shows from the old Rep Theatre to the Boa Theatre. This is then meant that we could have an extra week of the shows and we were given new dates, the 10th of May to the 28th of May. This then had a knock-on effect with everything else that was happening this week. I started off by having a production meeting with my team to discuss what would need to be changing due to the venue change. And the first thing that was changing was going to be the height of the steel deck. Originally, the steel deck was going to be seven foot tall, but due to the old rep being on a rake stage, this meant that it had to be dropped to five foot due to health and safety. But now that we're performing it back at BOA and no longer performing on a rake stage, the steel, back is, steel deck is going back to the original measurements of seven feet as this worked better for all three of the productions and the directors have said that they would prefer it to be seven foot, not five foot. I then went into the theatre and started to measure the wing space and working out now how the tractor and troughs can be stored as there isn't much space in the wings as there was in the old rep theatre. During the measuring, I worked closely with the set designer to make sure all of her ideas would still work for the set. One area that really stood out was what we were going to do with the rabbit hutch door. This is because at the old rep, the actors were thrown into the orchestra pit. However, at BOA, they do not have an orchestra pit, so this would no longer work, and therefore I emailed the director to make sure that they were aware of the change and that they could rehearse this, and if she needs a rabbit hutch door to be in a particular place, what would work for her blocking? Once I'd finished measuring the desired things in the theatre, I then met up with the rest of the stage managers for the other shows and the production manager as we started to learn how the prompt desk at BOA worked, as well as how to call a show effectively. This is really important as during the show I will need to be confident and fluent using the desk, as if I'm not fluent using the desk my calls could be late and this would then negatively impact on the whole show, as my cues for every department would then be off. I started off by trying to make sure that I could cue vocally, and making sure that this was in time, making sure that I could call without the desk. I then tried to add in the desk, as this is really important as during the production I will be calling with both the desk and vocally. I then decided to try and do it with just the desk, in case in the show my comms goes down and then I cannot communicate vocally, so it's important that I knew how to use the desk and just the desk in case of an emergency. Overall I think that I improved my skills considerably, and I feel more confident using the desk and I feel a lot more confident calling the show and being able to cue people on time with the correct timing. We did this by rolling tape down a table and cueing a pot to move and catch it along with the cueing sound effects when the tape was let go as well as when the tape fell in the pot. This really helped me improve my calling in time. Due to scheduling we could not have a meeting with our director this week, however I was going to have a meeting with her on the following Monday as this, there's some designs that we need signing off and she'd email me for a proper catch up. Also there were a lot of questions that we needed to ask the director due to the change in venue. I made sure that all my production team emailed me with anything that they needed bringing up with the director urgently on that Monday. We did however uh, manage to communicate via email and each department did give the, the director a quick email catch up. This week I managed to meet my personal development target by learning the prompt desk. 
This is really important as I will be using this to call the show and give cues to all of the other departments. I have managed to develop as a stage manager and I feel confident using the desk and being able to que call cues at the same time and cue certain sound effects. I managed to block everything in my rehearsal blocking. This was really important as I needed to make sure that the blocking was up to date as possible. I however didn't manage to meet the target of starting to source props as due to the venue change I needed to sort out some initial issues that came up within this. And also due to scheduling we only actually managed to have one day in college this week. This does mean that next week my production target is going to be sourcing the props, as I do need, I need to allow time for these props to be delivered and arrive. Also, I need time in case we need to go and collect certain props. I decided that my personal target this week should be to sort out my prompt copy, as now I did have two scripts due to some of the cast changing one of their scripts. I needed to make sure that all my cues were updated and that the ground plan had now changed from the, boa ground, from the old rep ground plan to the boa ground plan. This is important as the show is now taking place at BOA and I need to make sure my rehearsal blocking is the BOA blocking. And that is what I did this week as a stage manager for Fenn.